Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So here is a Rite Aid haul. So I don't go to Rite Aid that often. The last time I went to Rite Aid was during the Black Friday deals. So I actually went to Rite Aid on the last day of the Black Friday deals and I did get a whole bunch of like Monster and all those deals that were happening. So then I actually uh, started to build up my bonus cash bank and I had about $40 in bonus cash. And then what I did was last month, uh, well in December, I decided to do an online deal and it did not work out as planned and I had to return the products and it took 30 days for Rite Aid to finally give me back my bonus cash. And so I ended up getting my money back and I had about 30, I think, dollars in bonus cash um, at the end of January. So that's the whole backstory with all of that. Uh, my kids ended up using some of my bonus cash to get some ice cream. And then I had about uh, $23 in bonus cash that was gonna expire, um, I think next week because it did come through at the end of January. So I wanted to utilize all those bonus cash. I also got a spend 40, get $10 off, which I was trying to utilize with this transaction. And she tried so many times and it did not go through. So I was hoping for this to be a money maker with that $10 email uh, coupon but it did not. Um, either way, these are items that we do use. Um, at the same time, I really wanted to double dip on the Nivea, but my store was basically wiped out. These were all the items that was left in the store when it came to the Dove and the Nivea that was double dipping uh, with the monthly deal and the weekly deal. Uh, with the Nivea, if you are able to find those radiant uh, lotion, they are double dipping with the monthly and the weekly deal as well as there are some Ibotta rebates. Also at the same time, I haven't been couponing a lot at Rite Aid. So I am starting low at the bronze level. So a lot of people have been getting these deals at and getting gold discount. So that's the other thing. Well, that's the other reason why I want to start uh, couponing at Rite Aid, but also the reason why my out of pocket was so high. But either way, I will go over the breakdown of these deals and show you my receipt and let you how much I paid in the end. So the first deal is the Nivea. So there are a select few Nivea that they are, well, there's an in-ad coupon for $2 off. And then there's a weekly deal of buy two, get three, as well as a monthly deal that gets you uh, buy two, get three as well. So you're double dipping. So if you're buying two of them, you're going to get $6 back. Um, with these small bottles here, they are $7.79 each. If you get the Radiant one, I believe they're like $8.49. But then if you have gold discount, of course, it's going to be cheaper. But for this scenario here, for my transaction, I did purchase four of them. They are $7.79 each. So four of them did come to $31.16. I did use four of the $2 in-ad coupons. And then I also had four $2 manufacturer coupons that I printed from coupons.com. So I paid $15.16. I got $12 back in bonus cash. Work out to be a cost of $3.16 or $0.79 each. Of course, if I was able to find those radiant uh lotion then i would have got three dollars back from my barter and it would only be cost of 16 cents so hopefully you can find those in your store but to be honest my store was completely wiped these were the only ones in the store that was triggering for the weekly and the monthly deal the next deal that i have here is dove so they are buy one get one 50 percent off and when you spend 20 dollars, you get a seven dollar bonus cash so I did pick up two of the body wash. So the first one is $9.79. And then I did get the foaming one, which is half off at $4.74. And then I got two of the hand wash. One is $3.99. The other one is $1.99. So for all four of those, it did come to $20.51. I still had some of those $5 off two manufacturer coupons that I got from my fairy. So I paid $10.51, I got the $7 back. Work out to be a cost of $3.51 or $0.87 cents each. So like I said, if I had, if that 10 off of 40 uh, email coupon actually worked, then these would have been basically free or a moneymaker. I will show you on my receipt. 
So here you've got, there's the Nivea there. So there's my two $2 coupons, the in-ad and the manufacturer. So there's all four of the Nivea. There are also my Dove, so the body wash. And then there is the foaming that was half off. It's normally $9.49, half off at $4.74. And then there's also my other two Dove. These are the hand soap. So one at $3.99, the other one at $1.99. And then you can see my two $5 ones there. So I did spend $25.67. So for all these items before coupons, it would have cost $51.67. I ended up spending $25.67. If that $10 email coupon came off, it would have been $15.67. And I did get back uh, the $19 there. So I did roll $23 and I spent about six dollars and 91 cents out of pocket and then i do have 19 dollars there tracking in beauty cash there so overall um it would have cost 51.67 i paid 25.67 but then i did roll bonus cash in the end this would have been a cost of six dollars and 76 cents not including tax so not bad for the deals these are products that we will use but just a small little right aid hole eventually I want to start going back to Rite Aid if possible. We did move closer to some Rite Aid stores. Um, I just don't have the time right now between work, school, and the kids to really uh, do couponing a lot. So I do try and just go to CVS once or twice a week. And then I do do my groceries at Albers and Zavons. But there is a Rite Aid close by. So I want to try and at least go to Rite Aid once or twice a month just to do some of these deals and roll my bonus cash. So yeah. Just a quick Rite Aid haul. Thank you for joining me.